Thunder. Lightning. Howling winds. The sun was buried and the world was darkened. The clouds turned black. And then came the rain. Mankind had been multiplying and spreading out upon the earth. But the wrath of God was kindled. And in his great power, through his grievance and regret, he decided to end his creation. But you were chosen to be set apart, to be righteous, alone among men. And so you and your family are spared as you watch the entire world drown and sink to the bottom of an ocean 750 miles deep. It's taken you around 75 years of hard labor to build this feat of engineering. You stand on the bow of a 50 foot tall, 500 foot long pitch covered ark that will house you, your family, and nearly 1400 kinds of animals for the next six months. Aside from tending to the animals, you'll have plenty of time to contemplate things like, why did I survive and all the rest die? Certainly, if doubt creeps into your mind, you may think, wasn't it unfair of God to save so few? Why kill the whole planet? Why would a good God flood the earth? But then, you remember your days on the earth prior to the rain. There were reasons for God's judgment. The memories start flooding back. God had been warning the Canaanites for 400 years before the flood that they needed to stop their ways, and yet they didn't. They turned from God into the man-made idol, Moloch. And so, they made an idol out of bronze and lit a fire underneath it. As Moloch's great bull head looked out upon the masses of people, the man's body on which it rested had its arms outstretched. As the parents watched, the arms would be heated by the fire inside and their child, willingly given, would be placed upon them and sizzle to death. The villagers in the ritual would beat their drums all the louder to drown out the sound of the screaming infants. This, among many practices of deceit, sexual immorality, murder, and theft, were more than enough proof in God's eyes that the people of the earth had permanently chosen the path that led away from him. And yet, doubt, the ever-cunning shadow hanging over you, returns. What about the children? Did they deserve to die? You stop and think some more. Currently, you know God's nature more than anyone on earth. Surely you understand this. God created me and all the rest of creation, you think. So why would it be wrong if he decided to end it? It's his world, not mine. I think and breathe only because he made me to do so. Besides, you think, God gave them 400 years. Certainly, there were children present at the beginning of the warning, who then grew up to turn away from God like their parents and so on. The world was falling apart generation by generation. The world today is racked by evil. When we realize this, we often stop and ask ourselves, if God exists, why doesn't he stop evil? We have to look at the Old Testament account of Noah's Ark to realize that God has done that before. The whole world at that time had all turned away from God to be consumed by evil, all except Noah. And while God gave us the rainbow as a symbol that he would never again flood the earth, he does remind us that one day he will come back and stop evil forever. Click here to see why God still allows evil, and here to see why Satan isn't who you think he is. Either way, I'll see you next time.